What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install Android version 9.0 developer preview 3 on your Mi A1 Well, I know I was making a universal AB partition installation video But I just have two phones which have AB partition which would be the Mi A1 and the OnePlus 6 Well, there is no point in making for OnePlus 6 cause it already has Android P based on Oxygen OS So there is not a lot of sense in making a video for that phone So the only phone that I have is Mi A1 so this video will be specially aimed for Mi A1 and I'm going to tell you how to fix most of the bugs and before you watch the video further you have to actually fully trebleize your phone yes this is a treble rom of course ported from pixel xl so if you want to do that you have to just press this i button over here and it will guide you to my video which i have made for trebleizing your mi a1 and it's extremely easy to follow if you have a basic knowledge of custom roms and then let's just begin so first of all let's just take a look at the ui this is your normal pixel ui because it's ported from pixel xl as i told you guys but if you swipe up now, you have a recent apps panel. Then again, if you swipe up again, you have your apps. Now there is not a lot of choice of apps as you can see, it's just basically normal stock pixel. But if you go to the quick settings panel, again, the clock is on the left now. Most of you guys might be thinking the clock is on the wrong side or it's just a mod. No, because of the notch integration, the clock is now on the left. Also, the icons are now looking much more minimalistic. Then before again, the toggles are a bit newer. Again, the whole animation is newer. But as you can see, beta program, here you have more info about it. Like literally, this is a dream running on a MI A1. Cause even though it's Android one device, Xiaomi is not giving us Android P anytime soon, even after the release. So here are your normal toggles. There is not a lot of things, but as you can see, you have mobile data toggles and stuff for your data usage. But let's just uh, take a look at normal apps, such as for example, phone. Phone has been updated. As you can see, the dialer is on the right now. Looks quite cool, but yeah. Just a newer change. Again, all of the apps pretty much stay the same because these are stock Android apps and they do get updated via Play Store. But as you can see, there is now a three dot menu for more things such as screen saver and stuff. Pretty handy. And then the camera. Now this ROM doesn't come with a camera pre-installed. So this is a Google camera that I've installed. And the portrait mode Google HDR Plus just works amazing. This camera is just mind blowing compared to the stock MI camera that we get. And then again, we can also use flash while portrait mode and HDR just amazing stuff. Also file manager and all the stuff just works fine on this. There is no SD card lag. So there is no lag fix needed for this phone. This just works fabulous. And then let's just take a look at the settings. As you can see, looks quite new. Looks like DotOS to be honest, but DotOS actually is copied from this thing. But as you can see, it tells me to finish my setup. No thanks. Pretty much all the stuff is just the same from Android 8.1, but there are some additions such as for example, standard UI things, the volume panel is newer as you can see, it's just from the side and you can now toggle it directly from the sound. Well, it's not as good as MIUI 10, but still gets the job done. Again, you can toggle it through here, pretty nice touch. Then again, if you go to battery, you have adaptive battery, which uh, I have to actually look at, but really looks cool as you can see. Yeah, there are a lot of animations added by Google. Let's just go to display. Even Adaptive Brightness has a new animation, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. In the security, you have fingerprint scan and everything fully working, which is a very nice thing. Then you have to send support cause it thinks it's a Pixel phone. Then you go to the system, about phone, not a lot of stuff, but if you go to the gestures, there are far more gestures compared to the Android 8.1. For example, you have swipe for notifications, then you have jump to camera, which was the initial one, then swipe up for home, which is just for navbar, but I have actually disabled on my Mi A1. Then I can double tap to check the phone. Pretty much very handy stuff, to be honest. And let's just go to the system update. As you can see, Android version 9, June 5 patch, pretty new. Not the July, which we are getting now with the Android 1 ROM. Let's just go to about phone. Android version 9 as I told you before and let's just explore the easter egg so as you can see it's a trippy thing as if right now it will just stay for the beta or google will change it once the Android 9 is official with the pixel 3 release then let's just take a look at the recent touch panel I mean I'm not a huge fan of this I really like the 3d one but this is quite handy compared to that one but let's just now take a look at the installation if you already watched my treble video and if you have treble as your whole phone let's just go to the top recovery directly once you are to the recovery, you have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe, dialvik, system, data and vendor. Yes, you have to clean flash your vendor because if it's patched, it won't work. So let's just wipe. There you go. Successfully wiped. Go to install and first of all, flash the vendor. So select install image, flash the newest vendor, vendor image, confirm to flash. Once that is done, let's just go back to install. Again, select install image and then the actual ROM, which would be the pixel DP3 for AB partition. Select for system image. Confirm to flash. This will again take like a minute. Once that is done, let's just go to mount, mount system, mount to vendor, mount process, mount just everything. And then go to install. And you have to just flash the post to one zip. 
and just like the a only partition you have to flash post to zip not the three there is no three for a b partition but the two zip would be specially made for the t sort so don't use it on any end of another phone this is to fix the camera and the bluetooth and then we will need a custom travel kernel now almost all the travel enabled kernel will work such as project k or any other stuff but my most stable and favorite would be mon kernel or i don't know how to spell it but let's just install confirm to flash after the kernel has been installed you are free to reboot the system yeah you have successfully installed android p developer preview 3 on your mi a1 now the first boot will take almost like 5 to 10 minutes but it's pretty fast cause it's a travel rom and now we'll quickly switch to the setup and we are back up so there is nothing like a setup over here as if right now so, so we will just take care of some bugs right now so first of all these stupid notifications so for that first of all connect to the wi-fi just like that then we have to install an updated google play services and the camera cause it's not pre-installed so let's just go to the files gms continue install done done same for the camera gcam continue install and if you could see over here the notification will disappear themselves yeah so we will just finish the setup right over here tap finish setup remind me later tomorrow and once after tomorrow you will also get a notification for never so yeah that's pretty much fixed again done and now let's just fix the mtp yes the mtp is kind of broken the adb works fine when compared to the oneplus phones so let's just go to the settings scroll down system and then in order to enable developer options go to about phone advanced scroll to the absolute bottom and tap for like almost nine times and then you will find the developer options so go to the developer options and scroll down till you find default usb configuration there you go tap on it and select the default for file transfer yes this is the only method you can enable mtp on the mi1 as if right now and then the volte fix would be coming soon so subscribe down there for it and that's pretty much it for the installation of android p developer preview 3 for our mi1 i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more mi1 videos like these please let me know in the comment section below be sure to subscribe and see you in the next one peace